What's up guys, hope you're doing well, welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be about a news that I recently read about an article that a company called Incoat Technologies partnered up with Toyota to develop a perovskite solar cells for vehicle integrated applications, alright? So Incoat Technologies, a Toyota University PV technology spin-off, and Toyota Motor said that they will team up on developing perovskite solar cells for applications in vehicle integrated photovoltaics, right, VIPV. So the two companies are going to continue to promote the development of practical applications by integrating Incoat's elemental technologies for perovskite solar cells and the Toyota's in-vehicle technologies for solar panels, right, to accommodate these to go hand in hand with the aim of promoting self-sufficiency in renewable energy and contributing to the achievement of carbon neutrality, right, achieving the net zero carbon target. Um, and then Incoat said that Toyota will use the cells it develops and produces with a proprietary disposition technology that enabled the production of a perovskite module with an efficiency of 19.4% as of March 2023. So this type of latest solar perovskite development uh, module efficiency by Incoat, uh, they have done this by using a low temperature coating process. So it is possible to create a, high, a highly uniform ultra thin film solar cell technology that's what the company said taking advantage of the wet process makes large area surface suitable for mass production and we, we plan to move forward with roll to roll production that can be tailored to the application and scalable in the future so uh, in and in april 2022 last year ngk insulators a japanese network attached storage nas storage specialist acquired an uns unspecified stakeholder and Inco Technologies, another Japan-based Green Science Alliance, which specializes in the development of electrode materials for solar cells, also invested an unspecified sum in Inco in June. So Toyota also said in March that it had selected Japanese solar manufacturer Kanika as a supplier for solar cell deployment in one of its electric vehicles. So lots of high uh, solar manufacturer suppliers uh, Kanika is one of them that's going to be doing that for Toyota in its electric vehicles. Kanika's solar cells have been for years and years recognized as the most efficient crystalline silicon PV device developed at both industrial and research levels. However, Chinese manufacturer Longi Solar said last November that it had crossed reached a power conversion efficiency of 26.81%. That's right, with an unspecified HJT, Heterio Junction, solar cell based on the full-size silicon wafer in mass production. So, so far, lots of speculation, lots of promising in the future for Toyota and Incoat Technologies, having the supplier uh, in Japan from uh, Chinese manufacturers in Japan, Kenika uh, and Green Science uh, Alliance. So... Let's see how it plays out in the Toyota electric vehicle industry, the the VIPV. And yeah, that's it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts about it as well. Any uh, future suggestions on what type of news I should make in the solar, any different news that's going on, do let me know. And yeah, that's it for today. Take care, stay safe, and bye-bye.